All right, YouTube. We're gonna talk about my all-time favorite four tactics for uh, catching bass in the summertime. All right, um, I'll go over my lure choices and the types of rods I like to use with these lures, okay? All right, first technique is gonna be a curly tail worm. Just right here is a 10 inch. I have a bullet weight pegged. I don't have it pegged to the actual weight. I have this free, want this lead to free float. Um, my line is 12 pound test and I have a medium heavy action rod. And this is a gear ratio set up for seven to one, okay? This is a absolutely good technique for our summertime. For one, it's simple. It doesn't require much skill. You're basically gonna throw this thing out and either drag the bottom, run in midways in a water column, or you can blaze it across the top, you know, right above, the, right under the water. But if you're gonna do that, I would go ahead and take that lead off. But um, you can definitely fish it that way. Um, bass love it. This is kind of one of those techniques that are kind of forgotten. Uh, a lot of people don't throw it anymore because there's just so many products out there on uh, the market now. But uh, these things have been catching bass since the 80s. I mean, I've seen Bill Dance and Roland Martin throw these things with confidence in tournaments and all on their TV shows. And they've been producing big bass since. So this is a pretty simple technique. Um, definitely go ahead and add this. Definitely one of my um, all-time favorite um, lures to throw in the summertime. Um, there's lots of colors, but uh, your best bet is just to keep it simple. All right, just simple colors, you know. Can't go wrong with natural colors ever. But this is the one that I like to throw right here, okay? The next one. This is my top water. Um, I know there's lots of top water lures out there, but uh, I like the big walking baits, you know. All right, I'm pretty sure this is, the, yeah, I've seen these before. These is the bone color. Um, I've caught my biggest and most vicious, I had my biggest and most vicious top water blow ups with walking baits. Um, I got a different couple of variants of I have a um, sexy shad, I have an all black and I have all white. Just keep the colors simple. I usually go with three to two colors. But uh, in this one right here, I have this one tied on as white because I was fishing some, uh, last time I was throwing this out, I was fishing some murky water. So I wanted something that has a little bit more contrast. And I was throwing it in the morning time too as well too, so. But uh, I have this one, a high speed rod. This is a medium action uh, white bird favorite rod. Not a very expensive rod. The reel is a little bit more pricey, but you know, when it comes to bass fishing, you're gonna spend a little money somewhere. So I opted to spend a bit more money on this um, reel here. This is a dial Tatula CT. So yeah, I mean, I, I've had pretty good positive uh, fishing with this reel, but uh, it gets the job done. But um, big walking bait, okay? A lot of areas, you know, they don't, I don't really see too many people throwing these, you know, especially in the local areas around here. But I've, I've always had success. I catch at least one, I always catch at least one fish. And also too, I like to throw top water all throughout the day. This is not just a morning time or evening time type of bait. Anytime I see bass busting some shad on the uh, water, I go ahead and uh, I make sure I have this always tied up. I'll go ahead and start casting out there, see if I get in on that action too as well. So definitely this right here is a good bait to throw in the summertime. My next bait is going to be a jerk bait. Okay. This is a Rapala uh, X-Wrap. I have this in the uh, white color. Um, this right here is an absolute killer. I've caught the most bass <laughs> on this tech using this technique than I've ever caught in any other one. Um, I like this, it runs about midways in the water column. Um, it, it provokes bass. I mean, these jerk baits will pull bass up from the bottom. Bottom of the lake, bottom of the river, they're gonna pull them up there and they're ready to eat. Uh, when I see schooling fish, if I have one of these tied on, it'll definitely get bit as well too. Um, it's pretty noisy too. Uh, this technique right here, I only hear a lot of the uh, bass fishermen or pros and stuff talk about throwing it during the winter time and fall um i throw this thing all year long i throw it in the springtime i throw it in the summer i throw it fall and winter and i always get bit all right it just definitely produces a lot of fish this is definitely one of those numbers type of uh fish i mean uh techniques 
If you want numbers, this is what you're gonna use right here. So this will definitely get big, depending on what area you're at. But uh, fatic success, and you know, all types of waters, you know. But uh, like I said, this is like one of my all-time favorite lures to throw as well. Um, the, the lures are kind of pricey. They're about 10 bucks, 10, $12 range, but they get bit. These hooks are super sharp. So if that guy comes up and bumps this lure, he's most likely gonna get hooked. And like I said, you're already in, when you're jerking this rod, I mean, when you're working it out, you're jerking it, you're already halfway into the hook set anyway. So a lot of times these guys will hit it on the pause. So whether he bites it and you know it or not, whatever, um, He's already messed up big time once he gets up there and gets a little around his mouth. But uh, that's another technique. Definitely add this into your tool, your uh, tackle box. But it definitely works. And you can throw this all year. Oh yeah, also and I'm fishing this on a medium action rod too. And it's a seven to five gear ratio. But when you're jerking this thing, you wanna have, make sure you have slack in your line. Um, I tried to do a video when, when I'm actually out on the water fishing this, but um, there's plenty of content out there on how to throw the jerk bait. It's really nothing hard. Just make sure you want to throw it on a light rod. You don't want to be throwing this with any heavy duty tackle, uh, flipping rods, anything, because uh, <laughs> your arm is going to be tired. You're going to end up looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger by the time you're done fishing. But that's definitely what you need to add to your, your uh, tackle box. And lastly, one of my last and favorite summertime baits to throw. Is the old faithful jig okay the skirted jig this right here is on the uh it's a half ounce I usually fish this half ounce the three eighths ounce jig heads black and blue i picked black and blue because this color works pretty much all year so if you have a whole tackle box full of black and blue you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with it it's going to get bit okay this isn't really a numbers um technique or whatever or a lure but it is a big bass producing lure for sure. Um, you're not gonna go out and lake and, I mean, I don't know, you have the right scenarios, it's possible, whatever. But uh, I never went out and actually destroyed a bass using a, uh, a jig, but when I do go out and I fish it and I get bit, it's usually a, a really nice sized bass, okay? Um, summertime, this, this actually can be thrown all year. You could throw this in the wintertime too. Only difference between the, uh, the summer and the winter is the trailer. Um, summertime when the water's a lot warmer, you want a little bit more of an aggressive um, trailer. Um, when it vibrates a lot more, a lot more water displacement, just to get the tension of the bass, you know, they'll pull it from up under those shaded trees or from up under those docks and stuff like that to come out and see what it is, see if they want to eat it. But uh, this is definitely the type of one. And in the wintertime, you want to use a less aggressive one one a trailer that doesn't um, have so much um, action going on in the back maybe like a beaver tail or uh, I don't know you can go with just a straight tail worm I've actually thrown them on a straight tail worm but something that's not as aggressive you know and that should get it done uh, I'm throwing this on 50 pound test as you see these jigs have really big barb hooks on them so it takes a little bit of effort to get that hook you know, driven into those lips of those bass. So you want a heavy duty uh, setup. This is a heavy action rod. Um, you can go from six and a half, seven foot. I've seen people throw them up on eight foot rods, but to me, the sweet spot is like around seven foot, seven foot one, maybe seven foot two. Those are the areas I like to throw. Cause this, I can use this as a flipping rod too. So, but um, 50 pound test. I have a high speed rod here. This is a, uh, um, eight to eight to one, because uh, usually when I'm throwing this, I'm throwing it up in some cover. So sometimes it calls for me to get the fish up on top of the water, out more than the cover, or if I'm flipping in some thick stuff, you want to be able to, you want a high speed rod to get that that fish up out of there and on top of the water if you can. But um, it's a really simple technique. You you can't really go wrong fishing it. You can fish this thing in open water. You can fish it in heavy duty stuff. Um, when you're casting out in wood and stuff like that, as long as you're bringing that, that lure through there nice and slow, they have this barb on here that would, that kind of helps shield, shield it from getting hung, hooked on anything. As long as you're bringing it through slow, 
it will prevent you from getting hung. But if you're blazing that thing through here, it's gonna drop that barbell over and it's gonna get hooked. But um, easy technique. You can't fish it wrong. The only way to do it is not to throw it at all. But um, a lot of these techniques I like to use, especially my favorite ones, I will just, you know, I'll throw them as much as I can to perfect them and then switch over and start learning other tactics or whatever. But um, back to the setup that I have before. These are my all-time summer fake sun. If you notice, I kind of attack all levels of the water column. Um, my top water, mid to deep and deep, okay? Uh, that way I'm covered all the way around. I don't have to take a whole bunch of tackle. Those are gonna be my four setups in. Most of the fisheries here in North Carolina, Virginia, some parts of South Carolina, this setup definitely works. Uh, like I said, going back to this top water here, uh, frogs, I throw the whopper plopper sometimes too because it's fun. Um, but when I am going out and I'm targeting big bass, I'm going to be throwing a walking bait. A loud walking bait. Like I said, a lot of people don't throw it, especially areas that are pressured pretty good. Tie on your walking bait. I guarantee you're going to pull up that big one out of that school. But uh, those are my, first, my, my tactics right there, like using the summertime. Um, if you have any other questions, um, you, you know, just hit me up in the comment section. My number is on my YouTube page, so feel free to, you know, uh, give me a holler and we'll, we'll see if we, we can do to get you situated. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, like, subscribe, and share. I do give up the spots, so if you're locally in the area where I'm at, just hit me up and I'll give up the spot for you. All right, peace.